New Orleans was hit by a tornado. Chrissy Teigen was in an accident, and the high school school player scored 92 points in one game. These stories plus more headlines are coming your way on today's Five on the Fives. Good morning, and welcome to THS TV's Five on the Fives, bringing you the top five headlines in news, entertainment, and sports. I'm Constance McKnight, and we're streaming live on THSLive.com. And now to today's top story. Yesterday, a tornado touched down in New Orleans. Many people were injured, cars were flipped, and homes were smashed. The winds of the tornadoes were around 111 to 135 miles per hour. This weather affected south southeastern Louisiana, and Governor John Bell Edwards declared it a state of emergency. No deaths have been reported at this point. Senator Elizabeth Warren has been silenced after making a bold statement about the nomination of Jeff Sessions. The senator from Massachusetts rec recited a letter written by Martin Luther King Jr.'s wife, Coretta Scott King. Warren claims that Session was using his power to chill the free ex exercise of vote by black citizens. Senator Warren was soon silenced for violating Senate rules by imputing another senator. Not even celebrities escaped car accidents. Chrissy Teigen was involved in a hit and run 730, around 7.30 last night in Hollywood. She was found as the passenger of the car that was hit, but she was unharmed. The un un unharmed subject was arrested by Hollywood Division for the hit and run. After the incident, the model stayed after, stayed after in her spirits and letting people know a minor accident can't bring her down. Now let's toss it to Noah with today's national sports headlines. James and Charles Barkley? Charles thinks so. Here's what LeBron had to say about Barkley's comments. Quote, I'm not going to let him disrespect my legacy like that. I'm not the one who threw somebody through a window. I have never spit on a kid and I never had unpaid debt in Las Vegas. Never said I'm not a role model and I never showed up to All-Star Weekend on Sunday because I was in Vegas all weekend partying. All I've done for my entire career is represent the NBA the right way. 14 years, never got in trouble, respected the game. Print that, end quote. It was Barclay's turn again Tuesday morning on an, an appearance on the Waddle and Sylvie show on ESPN Radio. He said, I quote, I stick by what I said and I'm not going to make this personal. He was all whiny last week, Barkley said. I'm good and I'm straightforward and I'm never going to get personal on an NBA player. When asked if he felt James crossed the line, Barkley also said, I was laughing. Clearly he did some homework. He Googled me and found some things. He was young when I was playing, so I appreciate that. But I'm not upset by it. My criticism was fair and I'm good with that. Continue the following the story, visit ESPN.com. Last night, Chino Hill star Lonzo Ball, younger brother of um, Lamelo Ball, younger brother of Lonzo Ball, scored 92 points in one game. Lamelo is a UCLA commit from Chino Hills, and Chino Hills is coming off their first loss in two years. D'Angelo Ball, a senior also a, and also a UCLA commit, will be rested for the next two weeks to prepare for playoffs. That's all for today's sports headlines. Now back to Constance with today's announcements. <laughs> Tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday night at 7 p.m., the choir and the theater departments will be presenting Snoopy the Musical in the auditorium. You can purchase tickets in the lunchroom during lunch today through Friday. Tick student tickets are $5 and adults are $7 in advance. All tickets at the door will be $10. That's all for today's THS TV's Five on the Fives. Tune in on Friday for more news, entertainment, and sports from Thompson teams and other teams around the country. Have a great day.